Oh, Dave McConaughey here from DMC Fitness, Glasgow in Scotland, and today we're going to look at ways that we can improve our balance. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just using the floor. I've got a timer here. 30 seconds. And while I'm on the floor here, what I'm doing is I'm actually using my toes. I'm using my feet to help improve my balance. I'm not just having my foot just lying there dormant, my toes are working, I'm gripping the floor. It's one of the reasons why I've got these these shoes on, they're called Vibram Five Fingers or Monkey Feet as people like to call them. People think they're really funny, but they are quite funny when you look at them, because they're, they're, they're different to cushion shoes, but there's a reason for wearing them, and it's to make your feet work better. When your toes are not gripping properly, then it can lead to muscles not working properly or other muscles overworking and plantar fasciitis which is a sore foot and there's, yeah, there's loads of things that can happen and when you don't use your feet properly so not only is this improving or letting me drill my balance it's also letting me grip my feet right so i've done 30 seconds on each side so then what i'm going to do when i've mastered that is come on to an more unstable surface so for me here it's just a mat a foam mat while i'm balancing i'm also focusing on locking my leg the, the leg that's balancing is locked and the supporting leg is slightly bent okay timer's went off again i've got a wee timer on my, my hip here it's vibrating every time 30 seconds passes so we went from flat surface to a wee bit of foam, adding to more instability. And this is how you would start if you're new to this. And just work for 30 seconds, aiming for 30 seconds. If you lose your balance, you just pop your foot back down and just start again. Okay, so now I'm going to come back onto the floor and this time I'm going to close my eyes. As you can see, it gets really unstable when you don't have your senses. I'm very shaky. Good, so that was 30 seconds on each side. Now, what we can do is, we can take it to the next level with one of these balance cushions, or core balance, it's called, we get these off Amazon, there'll be a link in the description. For some people, at the beginning, it's actually good to give them a counterbalance, just to give them a wee bit of safety, and it also gives them a wee bit of, kind of, confidence in themselves so they can get into this position first and then intermittently just take the pole off and when they need to touch it back down again how you position your foot on the pillow is really important as well when you're putting this down but you're using your feet the exact same way as you were before, you're gripping, I'm using my toes, gripping my toes, curling my toes, making my toes work. It's actually much better to do this barefoot on the pillow. And I'm working just now in a sequence of 30 second intervals. When I do this, when I'm warming up, I'll stay on the pillow for 90 seconds on each side. I kind of minimum rest in my transition. So that's 30 seconds on both sides. 
Okay, I'm taking it a wee bit further. Coming up, finding your balance. And this is a peanut, a massager peanut. So if you notice, my left leg is so much more shakier than my right. So I would do a two for one on this. What I mean by that is, I would start my left side. I would go onto my right side, and I would finish on my left side. And then over time, what will happen is, that imbalance that I have, the left side will catch up with the right side, and ideally the two of them will be okay. So I'm just passing the peanut around from side to side. And then, if you get good enough, you want to just take it even further, he says. We are able to do this. It's a four kilo kettlebell. One of the wee baby kettlebells. And what we can do is find the balance and pass that one way. Which, as you can see, is a tiny wee bit more challenging for me. So there we go. And we can start doing things like lifting legs up and round and back down, etc. So that's some uh, progressions from the floor for balance drills to help with your athletic performance.